Hello everybody, it's Claire back with another art journal video. Um, this page is inspired by Neve Bally and Megan Wisnikwin. So there are like kind of touches of both of them in this. Um, this was a, a video that I actually watched by Neve Bally where she'd done a page inspired by Megan. I hope you understand all that ramble. So I'm working in the Dina Wakely Blue Media Edition Journal and I'm working on a few pages in this spread. So the first page is going to become like a window. Um, and I'm just starting off with greens. So I've started off with evergreen and then lime and then olive. Uh, Colours that I don't often choose to use. And then finally aloe. And I've added quite a bit of water to the colours so that they do uh, blend quite nicely together. And then I'm just using this lovely circle stencil. I think it's by... Carabelle Studio, I think, but I'm not sure, sorry. Um, and just doing the ghosting technique where you rub through the stencil and remove the paint through. This is where the Megan um, influence comes. So I'm just adding some black stripes to the page and um, using actually using black gesso for this. And then I'm repeating the same process on the middle two pages. So again, using evergreen, lime, and then olive and aloe. Using a bit of water as well to just blend the colours together. And then repeating the same process using the same stencils. Um, you can see that my stencils are a bit grubby, <laughs> but that's okay. So um, I'm doing the black lines again on the back of this page um, using the gesso. And then once it's dry, I've just put a craft mat underneath and using a scalpel, I'm just, um, scalpel or craft knife, <laughs> I'm just cutting out a window. And then using the Posca pen, I'm just hiding that white edge because this is such thick paper, the white edge does show um, quite a lot. So just um, hiding that a little bit using the black Posca pen. So then I'm using a Signo Uniball in white and I'm just um, adding some more lines onto either side of the black stripes. So this is very definitely the bit that's inspired by Megan. Uh, Megan Wisner Quinlan, if you don't know her, go follow her on Instagram. She's lots of inspiration on her Instagram feed. I'm just doing the same thing on the other side of that page as well. Right, and then I'm just using this Art by Marlene stamp. It's beautiful, I love these flowers. And I'm just stamping some images onto, I think this is a mixed media paper. So it's okay for taking watercolours and paint and coping with all different mixed media stuff. So I'm stamping these on, and then I'm going to colour them in using some watercolour paint. This paint palette that you can see is definitely a mixture of uh, Prima watercolours and um, some Windsor and Newton ones and well as well and I've kind of just stuck all my favourite colours into one palette so when we go on holiday and things I can just stick that in my travel kit of journaling things and um, I'm good to go. I say travel kit it always ends up being quite big <laughs> yeah it's never like a small travel kit because I just think oh, I'll just take that and I'll just take that as well oh and I might need that it ends up being quite a huge bag of things but this is quite a useful little palette of colours. So I'm painting them kind of in the same theme using rainbow colours because I wanted them to be quite bright and colourful. So I'm sort of following the same idea that I've done on the first couple.
and then these three are slightly different so I'm just doing the same colour theme on these as well. So the reason I chose watercolours was because they're quite translucent so you can still see the printing behind them um, and I like that. I wanted those, those marks and um, patterns to show through. So then this is the technique that Neve Bally showed in her uh, YouTube video, reverse stamping. So you stamp the image onto a gel plate and then you get the reverse image, which can then go on the back of the image you've done already. It's a brilliant technique. I've never come across this before, so I was quite excited to have a go. Um, I decided I didn't have enough images, so I needed another one. So I quickly stamped one out. And this is good for where you've got um, images that are peeking through holes in your pages where you want to be able to see the back and you want the image on the back as well. It's such a clever technique. And some baby oil at the end will get these marks off the gel plate as well. So I am wiping it with a baby wipe in between and cleaning and then drying it with a piece of kitchen roll as well. OK, so that's all the reverse stamping done. So now the image is on the front and back of these uh, flowers. And then I'm just adding the same colour to the back that I did on the front. And then I'm just going to start arranging them on the page where I want them to go. So the beauty of this is that you notice as you flip it over, you can still see the image on the other side. So I'm just arranging these round the window. I don't want it to hide the hole completely. just sort of positioning them roughly where I want them to go. I'm using double sided tape and a little bit of um, glue stick as well to stick them down. Now the reason I'm sticking this one over here is because I wanted a full image on this page as well so I know I'm hiding the reverse image that I've just done but I wanted the whole one to be there too so and also I was just using up some of the bits that I've got left. OK, so then I decided, oh, I've also done some doodling on that first page too. And I've added some writing into those lines on the left hand side page. I must have not videoed that part. I'm sorry about that. So this is um, an image. I've been practicing drawing faces using the Stibolo All pencil. Um, I find it very hard. I'm either pressing on to too hard with it I'm not really sure um, but anyway so this is a face that I'd drawn using that and I thought I would just pop it in my journal um, coming in the page at a sort of slightly jaunty angle from the right hand side so again double sided tape and some glue stick and there is the face peeking through some pink on the cheeks using the Jane Davenport palette pastels And then again using this stamp as anonymous stamp with a sort of script writing on it and some black archival ink. And some more leaves. This is something that Megan does a lot in her work and I do like adding um, little doodles to my work too. So then I'm using the Signo Uniball white pen and I'm just adding some more detail to these uh, botanical doodles and some mark making using the dots. I 
and then finally some more words. No matter how long the winter, spring is sure to follow and we sure need spring to happen. So there's the finished page. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video.